AB5 passes four to one on Wednesday. An Uber driver unknowingly acts as a getaway driver and Uber and Lyft move into the non-emergency transport business. It's this week in rideshare news. If you haven't heard, I'm sure you've heard by now, but this past Wednesday, AB5 was passed in California. The ruling makes it difficult for employees to call workers independent contractors, um, as you guys know, and I will read this verbatim. If the company controls their activities, if they do work central to the company's business, and if the workers do not have independent enterprises doing that work. From this point, the bill will go through some revisions. It will be presented to the Senate Appropriations Committee. And if passed there, it will move on to the Senate floor this fall. So it'd be interesting to see what happens in California if, in fact, uh, millions of rideshare drivers become employees. There were several rallies this past week. There were demonstrations for and against AB5, and that actually surprised me. Ezra, a correspondent on this channel, was in Sacramento and did some coverage for Uber's rally against AB5. Interestingly enough, there were a lot of supporters for AB5 there and vice versa for the rally for AB5 on Wednesday. If you want to check out the coverage for that uh, event, that link is in the description below. Ezra did an amazing job for covering what took place and getting um, information from both sides. And so I think it's a worth a gander. More information about AB5 is also in the description. Last week, we reported a story where a driver was transporting a patient from one medical facility to another. Turns out this was not an isolated incident as Lyft and Uber want to enter in the non-medical emergency transport industry, which helps mostly low-income and elderly patients attend their medical appointments. Both companies are invested in providing on-demand rides to healthcare appointments. In the future, we expect to see Uber and Lyft moving into this area and a lot more drivers taking over this kind of transport and the companies also slate that a pharmacy delivery service is in the works. <laughs> My question to you, if Uber and Lyft were to expand more in this area, would you be interested in transporting patients to their medical appointments and or delivering pharmaceuticals? Let me know in the comments pharmaceuticals. An Uber driver in New Mexico was detained after learning that he might be an accessory to a robbery. In fact, Terry Owens was a getaway driver for a passenger that he drove around for a couple hours. And um, apparently the police say that this passenger robbed a Valero gas station. So you said you're an Uber driver? The reason uh, you're detained is because uh, that person that you took to the Valero robbed the Valero. When asked if there was anything odd about that situation, the driver, Terry, said yes. When he returned to the car, he was acting weird and he had a pair of scissors in his hand. The Uber driver was detained, um, but let go. Passenger was arrested. This is something that I've actually given thought about. Like at some point, would someone call a Uber or Lyft to help them get away from some sort of crime they've committed? I'm sure that this has happened before. So I thought this was pretty hilarious. If you guys want to see that video, that link is in the description. It's a light news week, but I am going to round this out with a what would you do? I pulled this off of Reddit. Guy is delivering Uber Eats and he receives this note from the customer. Deliver the door. It's his first demand. Secondly, I want my food hot. That's not a lot to ask for. All you got to do is just pull up to the drive-thru through and ask them to make it fresh. If it's not fresh, I won't accept it because that's what good for you to give me old as food. Hmm. I think he meant that's what you're good for and not to give me old ass food. So just make sure my food is hot and we won't have a effing problem. Because if it's not hot, I'm drunk right now and I will F you up. Thank you. <laughs> and then list his apartment number. This is real. This is a real note. So if you receive this while picking up an order for Uber Eats, what would your response be? I'm gonna let you know right now. Um, upon seeing this, I'm canceling it. I don't 
I'm not fooling with anybody that's got an issue, any anger issues, emotional issues. You're drunk and threatening to f me up if I don't give you high food. It's a wrap. I'm done. I don't need that five dollars. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you have ever seen a note like this, let me know that as well. I actually put in my notes that if you bring it to me, I will tip you. <laughs> or if you don't want a tip, then I will meet you at the curb. So that's something that I put in my notes. And for the most part, it works. Speaking of, I need to tip someone. I forgot to tip somebody. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. In other news, a Lyft driver actually it's his wife to call the police on two of his passengers. He noticed that they both were carrying handguns and he was able to text his wife to let them know that he had passengers that were armed and dangerous. They was having gun. I felt not about my safe only. I felt about the other people in the hotel safe. You don't know what, you have a gun and you are in drugs. By the time the Lyft driver reached his destination, the police were waiting and they apprehended the criminals, the alleged criminals. My question to you, if you pick up two individuals, an individual in general that you know has a gun and they're flashing the gun, talking about the guns and they're headed somewhere, like a hotel or a certain place where a whole thing's about to go down, what would you do in that case? I don't know what I would do in that case. If I had a moment to text somebody, I definitely would. I would delete that and tell that person not to hit me back. I know if I contacted my mom or my sister that they probably would hit me back. <laughs> if I say, hey, someone's in my car, they have a gun, I'm scared, call the police, they'd probably try to call me and be like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Huh, huh, huh? Like, I don't think that they would respond appropriately because ah, they're just so anxious. But I think I would try to get a note to somebody. That might be my only chance. And, but at the same time, like, you know, maybe you have time to run. I don't know if the guy's a good shot. Who knows? I think that this guy acted appropriately in this case. Would you take a chance and text someone to let them know that the people in your car were armed and dangerous? Would you cancel? <laughs> let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and the link to the video, this video is in the description. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. We love those. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe below so that you never miss a video from the Right Share Guide channel. If you're curious about who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. You can contact me on Facebook or YouTube. Come check me out and uh, as always, be safe and have a great weekend. Bye.